please consider subscribing or joining as a member. Thanks and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, so if you watch me for longer time, you know that I'm not a fan of traps. But I believe that right now, traps are becoming meta and I'm gonna be using them as well. In update 1.7.2, poison trip mines got buffed and now they leave the poison cloud for 30 seconds after they are activated. What does it mean? Well, if you pair concertina trap with poison trap, well, people are gonna be stuck in the concertina and they're gonna be taking damage from the poison cloud. So before, for insta kill trap, you need like two concertinas or one poison or concertina poison and a bear trap. But now the only thing you need is one poison trap and one concertina trap. And if people don't have anti road shot, they will die instantly. If they have anti road shot, well, they will survive. As you can see, I even have preset here. It's called traps. And yeah, I'm gonna definitely start playing them more. I very recommend using the Frontiersman trait because that will add one extra charge of each tool. So instead of having two concertinas and two poison, you have basically three concertinas and three poison. But you need to be careful how do you place the traps. The correct way is place concertina first and then poison second. If you place poison first and concertina behind it, well, you will not lose that much health and you can sometimes run through it. As you can see, I survived with like 75 HP and yeah, I'm good. But if you play Concertina first and then Poison, well, that's more effective. As you can see, I almost died. Other players would die, but there is damage reduction when you place the traps and when you step into them. So, okay, so if you wanna get maximum power out of the traps, well, I told you, you need to have Frontiersman, so we have one extra charge of each tool. Another trait that you need is a pack mule. You actually get one extra tool, or consumable, if you loot player or open the item box. So with this trait, you can probably place like 10 traps, 10 insta-kill traps around the map, and also always resupply. Another trait that's actually useful is Poacher. Yeah, not many people use it. It's not for disarming traps, but it's better for placing traps quietly. If you, if you take Poacher, you can easily place traps in the fight, mid-fight, when people are close, because, you know, it's quieter, so people won't hear it. I I did that on stream, I placed traps, but they couldn't hear it, and then they ran into them and died. You're gonna step into the other one. I hope the tier 1 is gonna do it. Yeah, let's go, man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So that's why I like Poacher, because you can use it in close range fights. So there's two ways how to counter the traps effectively. The first way is a Vigilant trait. If you use it, you can see all traps in the 20 meters radius around you in dark side. It works for the walls as well. Here is a good example. And the second one is using anti road shot. If you use anti road shot, you will no longer take the poison damage from the poison bomb. So, it is reduced by a lot. Most people, when they're placing traps, they place it on the doors. But, well, it's old trick. Everyone expects that. You need to find new ways where to put traps so people are not expecting it. For example, if I had to place trap here, I would probably place it here. Because people usually don't see it when they come here. You know, they maybe check trap, there is nothing, they vault, they go in, they can step into it. This one didn't activate because I placed it in the wrong place. But yeah, you'll need to place it like maybe this, maybe here. This probably would work. So if someone's coming like this, they might vault, they might go in, they are dead. Another place that's great for placing traps are vaults. I call them insta-kill vaults, because people vault into the trap and they are dead. Well, this isn't a really good place because many people will see it, but other vaults are better. So let's say I put this here. Okay. The good players usually don't vault, they will jump like this maybe, but of course, most players, they use the vault button. So when they run, they vault. And they are stuck and dead. So yeah, I recommend you placing traps on vaults, unexpected places, 
or you can pl place them in some bushes or tall grass. For example, let's say the boss is pitching. Well, a lot of people use this path. So I would let me place traps here. Just like this. I don't think anyone would notice it if they run. So this is great trap. Where else would I put it? Probably not here. I wouldn't place it here because when you run up the hill, well, you see it easily. But I would put it in the bush. Maybe, maybe like this. And here you go. No one can really see it. Scared. Oh! Die! Let's go, man! I would clip! Let's go! The f Thank you, man. For a, It was for a video. Thank you, man. He died. I told you, man. I fucking told you. Let's go. We are pushing. Let's go. Nice. Oh, that was my trap. GG. And at the trap kill. Yeah, it was the trap on the. Do you see? Told you, man. Told you. I think I'll do one like obvious here. Oh, people from port. What is shit, man? Please. Shot you. Oh. Let's go. Nice, good job. What's happening? Teams, okay. Yeah, two more and. Oh, nice. GG, GG. Two more over there, I'll kill those two. Look at the quickest pre fire kill, yeah? Look at this. Okay, never mind. It's a cane. One guy dead. Here you go. 